Hey guys, this is Mr. Paul Zamora, and today we will combine a silverfish and an elytra in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So here are the things that we need. Red glazed terracotta block, button, rail, powered rail, detector rail, block of redstone, chest, resin torch, and redstone dust. Other items will follow later. So first what we're going to do is to place the red uh, glazed terracotta block on the ground and turn the button right here and then uh, powered rails uh, on the left side and on the right side and also another rail uh, this way and then we're gonna dig this part right here and also this we're gonna put the block of breadstone there and then on top we're gonna put a powered rail and there we go, we should uh, go this way and put uh, more rails just like this. There we go. And then here we're going to put another re a red glazed terracotta block as well as here. And then I'm gonna take this part right here up to two blocks deep. And then this one, uh, I'm gonna put a detector rail. And then we're gonna dig this part uh, right here up to two blocks deep until uh, these two blocks will connect. There we go. And uh, we're gonna dig this part right here as well, two blocks deep. And then I'm gonna put a redstone torch underneath the terracotta block, just like that. And uh, here we're gonna dig this part. There we go. Next, we're gonna put a, a chest somewhere here and then a hopper on top. Now, make sure you are sneaking and also make sure that the hopper is connected to the chest. As you can see, it's straight just like that. And then we're gonna put a redstone comparator. It must be here and it must be facing this way. I'm gonna put another uh, terracotta block there and send a redstone torch somewhere here. And then we're gonna connect those redstone torches just like this using uh, redstone dust. Next, I'm gonna dig this part right here, two blocks deep, and I'm gonna put a redstone repeater just like that. Again, make sure the redstone repeater is turned on. So let's now dig uh, more blocks uh, going this way, uh, two blocks deep. Here I'm gonna put another terracotta block and send another resin torch there. And then we're gonna put here a sticky piston. It must be facing this way. And then uh, we will dig this part right here. There we go. This time we're gonna use uh, the block of diamonds. So I'm gonna put a one there and send another one here and also here. And then uh, this time I'm gonna make a semi square so it must be uh, like this. As you can see, it's almost square, but it's like an unsolved uh, puzzle square. Next, I'm gonna put a beacon somewhere here. Then we will dig this part right here up to two blocks deep and also this one. But this time, uh, this will uh, be extending up to here. And then we're gonna put uh, some redstone repeaters, but we're going to uh, change the tick delay to maximum. So we have three, four, four redstone repeaters right now, make that five. The tick delay of each redstone repeaters must be maximum. And then uh, we're gonna dig this part right here. And this time we're gonna need the command block. So for us to get it, we're going to type here slash give at p and then it must be command underscore block. There we go. So uh, where is it? It must be here. So I'm gonna put uh, the block of breadstone uh, somewhere here and then I'm gonna type a command. It must be a kill at e. There we go and send uh, another command block right here and this time uh, it's gonna be summon uh, summon and then it must be smods and then colon and then we have a butterfly there we go and then underscore and then five now you can choose actually uh, another number aside from five uh, from one to eight 
But for this video, we will be using five. And again, this will not work if you are not using an add-on. And I'm going to leave the link for that add-on in the description down below. Next, we're going to type here the coordinates. So for us to get the coordinates, we need uh, to go somewhere here. And then I'm going to sneak. And then I'm going to put uh, the terracotta block on top of the beacon. And then I'm gonna stand on the terracotta block and then I'm gonna remove it again. And as you can see, we have the coordinates. So mine is negative 294, 4, and then 440. So you should have a uh, paper and pen while uh, doing this. So me while recording, I have paper and pen. So you should write this down because you will have different coordinates. So again, using the coordinates, we're going to type those coordinates here. And then again, mine is a negative 294 and then of 4 and then 440, just like that. So make sure the spelling is correct. Everything is correct. There we go. So we need to go here. But before that, uh, we need to put a rail somewhere here. We must be sneaking. And then let's now cover uh, every hole that we made a while ago with grass blocks so that uh, this is not going to be uh, like suspicious. There we go. So you should cover every hole. There we go. So it's now uh, clean. So let's go here in front and then I'm gonna dig somewhere here up to two blocks deep. And also here and then I'm gonna get rid of that part right there and then I'm gonna put a command block right there and then I'm gonna type it must be summon and then silverfish there we go uh, silverfish and then we're gonna use these symbols right here and then we're gonna use some red sun dust just like that and then cover everything with grass block and i'm gonna put uh, the button right there so basically we're done and all we need to have right now are the following so we have the minecart minecart with chest and of course the elytra so first uh we're gonna put here the minecart and also we're gonna push this button and as you can see we have there the silverfish inside the minecart and then on the right side we're gonna put the minecart with chest and then we need to open it and i'm gonna put the elytra inside so as you can see we have now the silverfish and of course the elytra so the question is what will happen if we're gonna combine the silverfish and the elytra so let's find out let's now push the button so one two and then three let's do it there we go what happened oh my goodness what happened what what's that what was that and as you can see the big gun is now uh, turned on what was that where is it oh my goodness look at this it's a butterfly and it's red just like the terracotta block right here oh my goodness look at this look at the animation of this butterfly i have never seen something like this in minecraft before look at this it's so realistic look at the wings look at the animation of the wings oh my goodness i like it so this is gonna be the future of minecraft with all of these animations right here this is so awesome so i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe leave a like and comment down below thank you so much for watching so all you have to do is to push the button which is located here on top of the block of diamond and let's see what will happen so again tinky winky plus po plus dipsy plus lala equals let's see what will happen there we go oh my goodness what happened to them oh my goodness so they turn into a big monster look at this who is this oh my goodness i think it's a villain so let's now get the diamond sword and also the diamond armor and let's actually wear this armor right here and i think we're gonna fight this monster right here is this stinky tank i'm not really sure but it looks like a villain so let's now uh change the game mode have you ever felt? Are you listening? 
Yeah.